A forest fire in northern British Columbia is burning out of control right now southwest of Prince George. The wildfire has scorched about 20 square miles of land and sent dozens of people fleeing from their homes. Breaking news this morning, the Islamic State is claiming responsibility for the attack at an art exhibit displaying cartoon depictions of the Prophet Muhammad. We are at the corner of Neely and H Street in Midlands. We are on the scene of a house fire. And what we know right now is that fire crews are putting out hot spots at this time. Two people were killed in an Ector County crash. It happened Monday around noon on I-20 and FM 1936. Hey, breaking news this morning. We're taking a look at the scene outside of the headquarters for the satirical newspaper Charlie Hebdo where one journalist is dead and three officers have been wounded in a shooting. It's been a long and difficult road for a California man. He suffered from a rare genetic condition that required extensive surgery to reconstruct his face. And we have continuing coverage. Officials just confirmed a TDCJ transport bus fell on top of a train. And this is actually video sent to us from a viewer. You see a van that he just passed. And then right here you see a guardrail that has just been destroyed. A man must have really needed to do laundry in Midland, he ended up stealing a washer on display. The seven year downward slide of the casual dining restaurant sector appears to have come to a halt. In preparation for the new Avengers movie, Austin police have put on a special preview for local kids at a medical center. Welcome back at 633, 21 degrees outside. The new year brings changes to federal policy regarding the minimum wage and Obamacare. Residents at this apartment complex told us that three of the eight victims had their cars broken into here at the Midland County Jail, where the suspect in this shooting is being detained right now. He, Dan Higgins, it was said to have shot and killed Midland County Sheriff's Deputy Michael Nacht. So the first thing that paramedics do when they get the patient in the ambulance is they get the vital signs. They get blood pressure, heart rate, and oxygen. Level. Tennis is a challenging sport, even with the use of your legs. Some would say nearly impossible without, but not for Adam Lucio. We are picking apples this morning iPhones, that is, and you can just feel the excitement, the eagerness. There's actually a crowd outside right now, and they're waiting to get their hands on the new iPhone. Talked to so far today has really enjoyed themselves, and they've come as far as even France. So, if you can believe it, this is a great place to just hang out with your family or just even visit for a day. Oh yeah, definitely. It's the best place to come in West Texas. And that will be so interesting when it finally gets there and we learn so much about Pluto. <laughs> yeah, so we had Ellie mention the grapes, the 12 grapes tradition, and then actually Brandy, she mentioned opening a door and a window to be able to let out the old year and let in the new year, which I think is actually pretty cool. Here with me in the studio is Shauna Birch. You are the director of Old Sorehead Trade Days, which is very soon. It's yeah. it's just within the next. Oh my goodness. It's this weekend. Good morning. Thank you so much for waking up with News West 9 Sunrise. It is Tuesday, April 28th. I'm Stephanie Mills. Tennis is a challenging sport, even with the use of your legs. Some would say nearly impossible without, but not for Adam Lucio. I've been wheelchair bound all my life. Um, I was in a car accident when I was five months old. I, I obviously love team sports way more than than, you know, solitary sports where I play alone, but it's um it was different in that transition and then again I, I wasn't allowed on other team sports because of my chair so uh tennis either tennis or golf was my only option and i took tennis kind of head on and it's it's it was a wrap from there adam lucio is a 25 year old adaptive athlete a wheelchair tennis pro adaptive crossfitter and fitness coach and works at heroes fitness in odessa he started playing tennis in the fifth grade played on his junior high team at ector and then varsity tennis at ohs he's been coaching tennis at odessa college for about four years now what does tennis mean to you oh it's, it's it meant a world i mean it, it shows that there's no barrier in life that i mean that i can do anything tennis is a lifetime long sport i mean you can play whether you're a, a five-year-old or you can play it at, at, at 90. When Adam started tennis in the fifth grade, he was in a wheelchair tennis expo and won a wheelchair tennis chair and earned lessons from Luis Valdez. Luis became Adam's tennis coach. I grabbed Adam out there and I put him on the on the, uh, the gym floor with the tennis balls and everything, gave him a racket, and uh, you could tell just the excitement and uh, enthusiasm that he had of being chosen to be out there. And so, uh, you know, that's what I remember from Adam from the very beginning, how motivated he was and enthused and, and really a good uh, team player with everybody else. So he was a very good example. Some may ask, 
how it's possible for Adam to be a tennis pro and play the game. Exactly how you do. I mean, it's, it's the same thing. Uh, I get two bounces is the only difference. Um, it's the same size court, the same height net, same size racket, just gotta be fast. There's a huge uh, stereotype that, you know, wheelchair people are, are not able to do the same thing that the able-bodied people are. Um, I've, I've, I see people at the court and I ask them to play, they kind of just kind of give me that hesitant, like, ah, I'm not sure if I want to, you know, be held back like that. But then once I get going, I hit a couple serves or something, they know that I'm, I'm the real deal. Tennis, other sports, and exercise have been a type of therapy for Adam. He wants to share that blessing with others who may be struggling or need an avenue to express themselves. May 16th, they are hosting a West Texas Adaptive Open tennis tournament at the Bush Tennis Center. I want to bring a whole bunch of people from the area and expose them to tennis and expose them to professional wheelchair sports. I mean, there's a whole new world out there that they haven't discovered yet, and I want them to be able to see that. You know, the whole Permian Basin is welcome to come out and see Adam in action and see the other wheelchair tennis players that are coming out as well. Andrew Amoya is a personal trainer and manager at Heroes Fitness in Odessa. Adam and Andrew have been friends for about four years. They're meeting up at OC, playing basketball, and I was always impressed with you know his work ethic and, and how resilient he was. You know, he, he never liked anybody's help. He didn't want anybody to feel sorry for him. I remember the first time I tried to open the door for him, he just looked at me like I was crazy. You know, he's like, bro, I got my own door. You don't need to do that. Adam has this message to those who need a push in the right direction and who may be facing physical or mental struggles. Living with a disability is extremely hard. Anybody who's had to deal with any kind of situation like this knows. And um, it's, it's no reason to give up on life, though. You, you can always enhance your quality of life by playing a sport like tennis and, and have fun in the meantime. The West Texas Wheelchair Open will be tomorrow, May 16th, at the Bush Tennis Center in Midland. The clinics start at 9 in the morning, then the games featuring the Permian Basin's first ever run roll will be at 1030. And the cost is absolutely free. If you need more information, you can call 432-296-2308. I'm Stephanie Mills, reporting in the News West 9 studios.